Hi, I'm Rudy Sarzo. I'm a bass player and previously with Ozzy Osbourne, Quiet Riot, Weissnake, Dio, and currently with Queensryche, Jeff Tate's version of Queensryche. And I'm Robert Sarzo of uh, Queensryche, uh, right now uh, with Jeff Tate, and before that with Hurricane. Where everybody has the same approach to performing the Operation Mind Crime 25th anniversary, which is do it as close as possible to the record, because that's what the fans can relate to, reference. We have the, the album as a reference. And the fans, they can tell, you know, I, I get a lot of uh, emails saying, wow, the tone is just like the original version of, you know, so they do care and it, and it matters to them that we care also. So it makes a big difference. It's a lot of fun because there's so many cool guitar parts and very well written sonically. And then to turn around and have my brother there playing, uh, it's just so solid. Well, this is the first time that we tour uh, in a national band. Before that, we have been playing in whatever happened to be local. Because we used to be in bands together back in the day. It's an iconic record, you know, Operation Mind Crime is, uh, as a matter of fact, I think it's been voted by Guitar World as one of the top five concept albums of all time, up there with The Wall, and, you know. Rarely does any band ever play a whole record. Uh, I think that the last experience I had that was when I was with Quiet Riot and we went out and we had Metal Health and we went from being an opening act to being a headliner, which meant that we have to perform everything we knew. So we played the whole Metal Health record, even though it's not a concept album, but that's all we had. And then we added some of the other songs that we used to play um, around town, you know, when we played the Sunset Strip. So rarely do you ever get an opportunity to play the whole album as a group. Silent Lucidity, which is part of the encore, um, I would actually, sometimes I have used the uh, the Variax, the uh, 89 Shredder, and uh, I'll put that on the uh, mode of the acoustic guitar, six strings. It sounds just like the record. Very close to it. I got to switch, you know, tones very quick. So I need, a, uh, you know, a rig that I can just do it night after night after night after night. We're doing six, seven nights a week. So it's really holding up great. Never had any problem with it. I love it. <laughs> can I show the guitar? Okay, right now you can go ahead and you can pre-select the tunings that you want on the songs, especially when you're on tour, you're in the recording studio. It's not cost effective to bring 20 guitars for different tunings. It really saves a lot of money and a lot of time and you, all you need is one guitar or two guitars on the road. The quality of this instrument, it's excellent. The tuning keys, uh, the locking system, the tremolo, the wood, the craftsmanship is just top notch. And the neck is just straight, as you can see. Ah. <laughs> You know, I've been using wireless for over 30 years, so I have a lot of experience with wireless throughout the years. There hasn't been a band that I have not gone wireless with. And I gotta tell you, the G50 is amazing. Back before I was using the, the G50, I used to have to have like relay antennas around the stage, so when I moved around, they were able to capture the sound. Those two little antennas will sound without latency, no matter where I play, no matter what country, no matter the, uh, the voltage, it, they, it's just no dropouts anywhere. Whether you're playing in a smaller venue, playing in a theater, you're playing in an arena or a stadium, it's, the sound is constant. That's my experience. And I've been using wireless, like I said, for over 30 years. It's an amazing product.